I'd like to highlight some of the standards up here. We have a tongue jack that can support 2,000 pounds, oversized. We have a two inch ball hitch, uh, seven pin connector, typical RV, safety chains, a safety brake. I'd like to point out the auto brake. Pacta installs these on all our habitats. Uh, they're great, they carry a three year warranty. It's a proportional brake controller, but it, because it's wireless, it doesn't require um, any installation in your car. 2020 Mantis has a uh, capacity for two 20 pound bottles of propane, which are hidden behind here. And I'd like to point out that some people put their bikes up here. There are tongue mounted bike racks. Okay, I'd like to highlight some of the options and features on the driver's side of the Mantis. This is the hatch that covers the uh, tank for your cassette toilet. Very portable, gray black water tank. Okay. Slides in and out here. This is your furnace and hot water inlet. Uh, for airflow, every Mantis has a shower hookup for hot and cold running water on the outside for the quick disconnect. Down below here is where your gray water tank blade valve is for emptying your water tank. Here's your city water inlet for pressurized water from a, a garden spigot or a campground. Here is your 30 amp power inlet for uh, charging up and powering things at a campground or at your home. This is a solar panel plug. We pre-wire for a portable solar panel. This is the freshwater tank inlets to fill up your 20 gallon freshwater tank if you're camping off the grid. And up here you see the shroud that covers the backside of your air conditioner. This is a little storage compartment for uh, chocks and jacks and anything you want. You can access it from the outside and the inside. All our habitats feature stabilizing jacks. The Mantis has four, one in each corner. A really simple hand crank operation. Some people like to use their cordless drill to do this, to make it even faster. We designed the rear of the Mantis to be really useful. There's a spot to hold a NATO can full of fuel or water. But that same spot is part of a ladder to make it really easy to climb up on the roof to get whatever you have up here. There's two load bars. We're showing you a rooftop tent, but you could have bikes or kayaks or cargo boxes, whatever you want up here. We have handles, so it's easy and strong. One of the really distinctive features of the Mantis is this large opening hatch on the rear. It's over four feet wide this way. Uh, it exists so that you can shove stuff in here for storage. You can be inside looking out at the great view. Uh, and you kind of make a little porch roof for yourself here too. On the campsite side of the Mantis, we have a number of significant features. We have a 12 volt outlet down here for powering lights or charging a laptop or anything you want. Um, we have LED lights for nighttime lighting, which are both up here for ambient lighting. And then we have a red night light, which you probably can't see here for a nighttime safety. Um, we have an Overland style eight foot awning it makes a real outdoor room. You can get mosquito net walls for that if you want. Um, this window often ends up being a food service window. The fridge is right in here. You can self-serve or you can shout to your friends to hand you something to eat or drink through here.